is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Wilkins leads the way with our celebrity guest pickers. That is the standard that the great Peyton Manning will try to reach. Don't forget, Peyton's going to be co-hosting the CMAs with Luke Bryan. It's coming up a little bit later on ABC. What day, what day is that? November 9th. November 9th? I think, okay. I think. November 9th. He'll be ready, <laughs> ready to go for there. Our Coors Light Saturday selection. Peyton joining us to make some picks after leading the band. Let's start with the Dakota Marker game. Number one and number two in some polls in the FCS. North Dakota State, South Dakota State. It's in Fargo. Who do you like? I like North Dakota State because Coach is really good friends with the Bison. That's one of his favorite mascots, the Bison. So I'm going North Dakota State. Yeah, the Bison are awesome. But the reason why I'm on this show is because Adam Vinatieri went to South Dakota State, couldn't get to the time whenever college game day was there. So let me ride with the Jack Rabbits in South Dakota State, Peyton. My dad always taught us growing up about the Iron Bowl, the Egg Bowl, and the Dakota Marker. That was big <laughs> in our family. I like North Dakota State. Uh, SDSU has won four out of the last six. It's revenge time for North Dakota State. Good pick. Any of you guys got a bison name after no, you? No, you're the only one. No, you're, you're the one. one. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going with my bison. <laughs> I, 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 you I have to. Right. You have to. They've lost two in a row. You mentioned that it's, it's gone South Dakota State's way. I think the running game will just wear down South Dakota State. The bison. Bison. Game You're coming up in just a few minutes. Kansas and Oklahoma Sooners have been reeling. It's homecoming. Who wins it? I know Dylan Gabriel is supposed to play today for Oklahoma, but we've all come to the conclusion he's not playing defense, and their defense has been awful. So I'm going Kansas Jayhawks. And I think there could be a letdown after losing last week at TCU or to TCU whenever game day was there and it was the biggest game of the, the program's history in yeah, a long time. Absolutely. But Leipold's a great coach. Give me yeah. Kansas and the Jayhawks wow. to make up for last week. Big. Reese, I haven't cared about a Kansas-Oklahoma game since <laughs> Danny Manning took on Mookie Blaylock in the 88 final four. Nice call, right? Yeah, that's that's a great call. call. <laughs> it's, it's desperation time in Oklahoma. And also, Greg Sankey could rescind the invitation to the SEC if Oklahoma doesn't beat Kansas. I'm going to Oklahoma. Not so fast, my friend. Not so fast. Kansas is my super dog pick. Nine or eight and a half points. Nine. <laughs> That's beautiful. You threw Sankey. Send it back if you lose to Kansas. Hey, I, we just keep waiting for Oklahoma to be better than they've been in conference play. You have to think that today they get uh, Gabriel back, get their offense going. They're going to have to score a lot to outscore Kansas, but I think they win. Okay, Kirk's not going to have a pick on this one. Clemson FSU He's calling the game. Seminoles pull the upset tonight. I tell you what, this is a big game for Jordan Travis and for Mike Norvell and for the Seminoles. They can't go three losses in a row, right? But Clemson, they're trending in the right direction. So I'm going Tigers. Clemson's going to pull it off. I'm also calling the game. Shout to Omaha. Uh, <laughs> uh, ESPN nice too. Yeah, no problem. Can you not make a pick? Uh, the show will be, you know, much worse than what Kirk's going to do. But I like the Clemson team. I just think they're finding their rhythm. And on defense, they're very stingy. Give me the Clemson Tigers. I think Clemson's better than FSU. Dabo's got them back. They have NFL defensive linemen yeah, they on that front. Their quarterback, DJ, he stopped doing commercials. He's playing better football right now. <laughs> I like Clemson. The last time I said something about Clemson, I ended up in the hospital. Not doing I'm, that again. No, sir. Clemson over my alma mater. <laughs> Clemson, big. Look at that. All Everybody's uh -oh. Clemson. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. yeah. Why don't you make a pick, I, Except for Bear. Yeah, I did. Bear, 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 I, I did Bear, notice Bear that Bear doing commercials never yeah. really hurt you too much. <laughs> 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 Motivation to play well. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you like the tackling part, Minnesota and Illinois. Low scoring game, defensive struggle, but is this your, your super dog? Minnesota. I got to go Minnesota. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. I like what Bilma's doing a lot, just building that program up from scratch, basically. Illinois has been next to nothing for a long time. They love it up there. Give me the Illini running the rock very well with Chase Bryan. Yeah, you lose to Illinois, your head coach could get fired. So I think Minnesota <laughs> knows that. I think P.J. Fleck rose the boat today. I like Minnesota. Great pick. Great pick. Oh, Minnesota God. is for real. You guys watch Minnesota. They'll cover the day. You're coming up here swinging on hey. some people. <laughs> hey, this team stinks. Brad Beal, a good story. If you lose to them, you're out of here. I'm going, I'm going to Illinois today. I think uh, Tommy DeVito being in there, playing great defense. Chase Brown running the football. Low scoring, kind of a Thursday night game the way they <laughs> Yes. Kind of that. Yes. Yes. Prime. Yeah. Yeah. I can channel that. <laughs> Mississippi State and Kentucky Cats have this great punter, Colin Goodfellow, who wins the game. Oh, I'm going Mississippi. 
Kentucky State. You look at that <laughs> offense, high-powered offense. I understand Will Levis is going to play for Kentucky, but he's not going to be 100%. I'm going Mississippi State. I love the Kentucky people, all of them, every single one of them. I don't care if you're from America, Australia, wherever the hell you're from. I love the Kentucky people and Paisan coach for sure. But give me Mississippi State. Will Rogers is slinging it. And now, obviously, with that coach, they got mathematics and schemes to beat everybody. I like Mississippi State a lot. Hard to pick against the Pirate. I think Will Rogers, besides Hendon Hooker, is having the best year yeah, in the yeah. Southeastern Conference. But I like Will Levis. This guy is an NFL quarterback. He I'm is. going with Kentucky. Simply put, Mississippi State is hot. Kentucky is not. Yeah. So I'm going with Mississippi State. The one thing about Levis is the offensive line's not taking care of him. And when he's been in there, they've pressured him. And I think Mississippi State up front gets pressure. I think Will Rogers has a big day. I like Mississippi State. Huge test for Southern California tonight in front of the mighty Utah student section. Who wins it? This is somebody super dog too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going Utah. I'm going Damn. to Utah. I like the perimeter. I think Cam Rising will not turn the ball over. That's hurt them a lot this season. So I'm going Utah. Yeah, I like USC to make the playoffs. So to do that, they obviously have win to today. win today. Yeah. So I like USC, Simple. Caleb Williams, and that defense to show up for the first time all season and against the rush, Peyton. I like Cam Rising, but Utah has not showed up against Florida and UCLA. They're two big games prior to this one. I'm going with USC. I think Caleb Williams is a special player. Me too. USC, my, they, oh, Utah's won 22 in the last 23 at home. Yeah. You know that? Did not know you that. You didn't know that. No, right. Forget about it. <laughs> USC. <laughs> that, I'm like, no. <laughs> you're, 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 I'm like, no, scratch. I, I told him something. He didn't know I know. That. I know. That was a good. That's hard to do. <laughs> All this USC talk, I just want to see USC go on the road and play the way they're able to play at home. Their defense is getting pressure. That's great. And I think Utah. Peyton, you just brought it up. They have struggled defending the run of Florida last week at UCLA. At home with the Muss, it's different. I'm going Utah because they're at home. If SC does win, they're rolling to 10-0. Won't sure be are. challenged yeah. again until they see UCLA. North Carolina State and Syracuse. Is the Orange remain unbeaten? Yes, they – yeah, absolutely. Um, you're looking at the Wolfpack without Devin Leary. That offense is going to sputter. I like the Orange big. The Orange been big today. Yeah, it sounds like you might just be trying to make some people happy off the scene here, you know, because Syracuse <laughs> is the television, the ESPN school. With that being said, I like Chambers as well. I like Doran. I like the 3 3 5 of NC State. They've let me down a lot in this pick section. Yeah. Yeah. Today, they ruined the fantasy of Syracuse being good at football. Give me NC State and the Wolfpack. <laughs> I think it's big that Devin Leary is not playing. Also, an NFL quarterback. Panthers should draft him uh, yeah. in April for sure. Yeah. He's not playing. I like Dino's pre- and post-game speeches. Oh, I'm yeah. going with Syracuse. Good reason. Great, Great pick, and i tell you why. The dome and defense the Syracuse. Yeah, the defense, Sean Tucker running the football. Garrett Schrader came over from Mississippi State. They have a balanced attack. Mikey Tirico is fired up, which makes me fired up. They're saying this is the biggest game it's been in 20 years. Jimmy G, the producer, all the Syracuse people. Ah, yes. Syracuse. <laughs> and NC State's had two tough weeks against Clemson and Florida State. And Cuse played Wagner and a one. bye. So they had two byes to get ready for this game. Yeah, Pete Thamel, too. Pete Thamel. Yeah, 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 we got a lot, exactly. a lot, a lot of Syracuse. A bunch yeah. of, a lot of Syracuse. <laughs> Michael Cole. Oklahoma yeah. State and TCU. Keeping it, Spencer Sanders got a little dinged up the end of the Texas Tech game. How healthy will he be? Will he be able to go? Who do you like in this game? Spencer's health is in question. The, the Pokes defense, have they been tested yet? I, I don't think so. I like TCU in this game. A close one. Shootout, but I'm, I'm going TCU. High scoring. I'm never going to pick against Max Duggan and how big that team was. Once we saw them in person last Oof, week as they walked man. past our you like that. exactly. That's an SEC team, it looked Bruh. like, with TCU. I like TCU to get a win in the over to, I mean, hammer the over, Peyton. There's not a lot of good defense on this game. Coach, it sounds weird to say that TCU is coming off a big win over Kansas, but that's <laughs> the scenario we're in. I like the quarterback. I like the receiver. I really like Coach Dykes. I like TCU. Speaking of Coach Dykes, Sonny Dykes is my coach of the year right now. Yeah, man. Good pick. Great job. Good pick. DCU. DCU. Well, that's a lot of purple up there, isn't it? Ooh. Do it, Kirk. Save the show. I think for the team, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that Take Oklahoma the State. You yeah, go. you have to to yes, save the exactly. internet. I'm going to go with Spencer Sanders. I, I think he's going to be able to outduel. You know, if, if you look at TCU and Duggan, they're going to make big plays. But I think the pressure that they can get on Duggan, they're the best in the Big 12 with sacks. I think Oklahoma State does just enough on defense to win the game. And kickoff is at 3.30 Eastern time on ABC. How about the game that will start in 10 minutes after the hour, Penn State and Michigan? You know, we talked about uh, Penn State's offense and their running backs. Young guys, Nick Singleton, Katron Allen, very talented. But, Peyton, you understand one thing. When you have young running backs, you worry about pass protection. 
I think these guys are going to get exposed. Their pass pro is going to get exposed. Michigan's going to come after Sean Clifford. I have Michigan winning a close one against Penn State. I like where J.J. is headed. I like that Michigan team. I like that Harbaugh wears khakis. It seems as if they got it all figured out, okay? But for me, Penn State running the ball again is good news. And I think their defense is tough. I think James Franklin gets like a monumental win for his program oh. today. Give me Penn State to get a big dub. And that five-star uh, freshman running back, Nick Singleton, Singleton? Yeah. he'll be able to He's a dog. He'll put his head in there and protect for the <laughs> Pat, I don't like Michigan. Fans behind me don't like Michigan here. Yeah. Sorry, Des. But <laughs> <laughs> Penn State. This Chad Powers has gotten so cocky. He's selling T-shirts oh, now. No. He's good at movie dance. No. I don't like his attitude. I'm going with Michigan. <laughs> this, hey, Desert, listen to this. Okay. Michigan is 6-0 in back-to-back -back years for the first time in 46 years. Oh, wow. Michigan's going to win this one. Maybe. I, I can't, good job, Coach. I can't wait to see Sean Clifford in this game because yeah. – Really, in his career, in these bigger games, how he goes, it's either really good or a lot of scratching your head wondering what kind of decision was that? How is he going to play against this Michigan defense? Can he make big plays and get the ball spread out the way he needs to? I'm going with Michigan because it's in Ann Arbor. You're have, welcome. Have you noticed that sign that keeps popping up over your shoulders? I have it not. Re it no. really speaks to the intensity of the Alabama-Tennessee rivalry, I think. Can we see that again? Breathe what do we if you hate what, Bama. Is it over no, here? They're, they're questioning, over here? They're questioning the hygiene habits of where, I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah. Great sign. Oh, yeah, wow. it's, it's Great not, sign. It's not okay. nice. <laughs> yeah, there it, it is. It brings, it brings out the uh, creative expression, as we saw from the rapper with the smoky tattoo on his chest a little bit later on. Bars. But there are some more serious things that go on with Alabama and Tennessee. And really, before Tennessee plays any game, the volunteers recite the seven maxims of General Robert Nealon, the things that they need to do to win any football game. And while those are important, one thing might determine this game is something else that General Nealon said. You never know what a football player is made of until he plays Alabama. Mm. Alabama, Tennessee, this game hasn't had this much meaning in a while. We know the opponent, we know what's at stake. Go fight, strain, and compete your ass off. Being able to light a cigar and uphold that tradition, you know, it feels good. They've got the chance to light the cigars, but we want to be on the other side of it this year. Rocky Top's going to be jumping. Being in Knoxville, it will be the best in college football. This will be the most intense, most vitriolic atmosphere in college football all season. Who wins the game, Alabama or Tennessee? If Bryce Young was 100 percent, I'm going Alabama easy. He's going to play, but we don't know how effective he's going to be. And Peyton can tell you better than anybody. What's going to affect him is throwing a long ball and throwing outside the numbers. So that reason alone, I'm going with Tennessee. Make sure your security detail find me. We're going to smoke a cigar after this one. <laughs> Four. Well, I guess I'm going to go here, and I, I think that uh, I, What's that? I, I just think, first of all, you got to add up a few things for you, Pat. Tennessee's <laughs> scoring 47 a game. What? There's never been more belief and excitement in Rocky Top since Peyton and T. Martin were here. It's been a long drought. They are as hungry as they've ever been, and probably the most underrated home field advantage, not just in the SEC, in the country, and it's great to see them back. With that in mind, there they are, there they are. With that in mind, Alabama comes in here limping. You see them against A&M? Mm. If there's ever a time that you want Alabama, it's right now. But, I've, you know, the history lesson here says that when Alabama comes in limping, you think they're vulnerable, we can get them. Alabama, you can't fool me. Alabama shows up today and mysteriously and miraculously looks like Alabama. Alabama oh, beats man. Tennessee. Oh, oh. When I was 21 years old, Coach, I was drafted to a football team in the middle of America that I could have never imagined going to. It was the Indianapolis Colts. Their quarterback was the man with the massive cranium, the massive head, <laughs> the sheriff, and the incredible ability to play quarterback. And I had no real allegiance to the beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. Then we won our first away game. And on that plane, Peyton one took his phone, put it right next to the speaker on the plane, and the only thing that was blaring is, Rocky Top, Since eating at Gus's Deli yesterday, and since Peyton is back, and Heupel's got him going, and Hooker's a guy, <laughs> give me Tennessee!
NXT by a million. <laughs> good pick, good pick. Outstanding, Pat. <laughs> I knew bringing you here 12 years ago, I kind of trained you, <laughs> fitted you with some Tennessee swag. Kirk, I'm disappointed. Obviously, Kirk's tired from all that scoring the past couple <laughs> Thursday nights. <laughs> exactly. Got some great country music singers in town. Kenny Chesney's in town. Morgan Wallen's in town. Morgan Wallen has a great song, Reese. It's called You Proof, right? Tennessee needs something Alabama proof. We haven't had it in 15 years, but I think we have it now. His name is Hendon Hooker. He is the new sheriff in town. Oh. I'm going with the Tennessee balls. I'm putting on a hat. Like you <laughs> Tennessee balls and a close one today. Come hey, that's right. a me. Hey, go. Hey, Peyton, Peyton, tell me one thing. How in the world can you pick Tennessee when he lost 50 in a row to Coach Saban in Alabama? Oh, no. Hit and Hooker. Hit and Hooker is the difference <laughs> this year. Yeah. That's, that's out, of, it's out of my mind that I'd follow him in <laughs> exactly. Tennessee, but I've Bama. been sick, so. Give me Tennessee. Let's go, Coach. This has been amazing. Pandemonium rain. This is going to be some kind of celebration if the Big Orange holds it off. Thanks to Peyton Manning. We're glad McAfee survived his belly flop. Enjoy it.